Slide. Let's go, gamer. Aloy slides so far, I love it. Hi. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvand, uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Oh, why does he have like a little exclamation Olven's mark over his head? Is coming up, and it's never good. Yeah, Olven's really a bit of a dick. Someone's gonna have to deal with him. Someone being me. Face paint unlocked. Uh, you know, I'm kind of feeling the headdress on Aloy. I don't think face paint would be my jam. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. I guess he has an exclamation mark because he's like an important character or something. Makes sense. Water. Yeah, it was a lot of water, brother. Believe you me, I was swimming through most of it. Unknown shelter? What is that? What's that about, huh? We gonna find out. What's still new here? Oh, right there. Glow blast. Interesting. I have so many dang skill points. Yo, I want more combos. Where's the shield? Yeah, block breaker. We need this for the uh, the melee pit. Critical boost. That could also be neat. Target remains energized longer. That could be pretty useful for longer fights. Deal more damage. Just straight up a damage up. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that right now. Thank you. Go ahead and give me this combo as well. I love combos. Critical strike plus. Stun and knock down an enemy, then approach and tap for the critical strike. So it just does more damage. Dude, I love just straight damage up. Deal more damage with the resonator blast. Also pretty pog. Give me Critical Strike Plus for now. We can get this uh, Valor Boost we want. I also want to move to more of these combos. Jump off an enemy to quickly reposition yourself and create distance. Shooting your target with an arrow immediately after a jump off deals extra damage. That sounds pog. Dude, they have added so that... They were not kidding. They they meant it. When they, when they said, like... Hey, we're gonna make, like, you know, people complained in Zero Dawn that one of the weakest points was that, like, the melee combat was so simplistic and didn't really have a lot to it. And then they were like, we're gonna fix that. And then they did it! They fixed it. They just made it amazing. Powerful melee combo among Nor warriors. Useful in knocking down small machines and staggering larger ones. Immediately break an, enemy, an enemy's weapon guard and leave them vulnerable to a follow-up attack. So that's probably where you want to, like, hit the charge move after. Cool, cool. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's see what this, uh, what the heck this over here is. What do we got going on over at this little shelter or whatever they're talking about? I see a lot of blue lights. Discovered shelter. What is, what is a shelter? At a shelter, you can craft and upgrade items, save your game, and change the time of day. Yo, Xenoblade Chronicles up in here. Oh dear. Hey there, buddy. Calm down there. Nailed it. Die. Later, sucker. Oh, there's more of you, huh? Nope. Bad. Ow. Ow again. There are a lot of you. There are a lot of you. Be gone. I think I just powered up that critical strike. I don't remember. Where are they all coming from? There's a limitless amount. Dead. All right, don't mind me. Just grinding up some experience for uh, no reason whatsoever. Oh, no, the lightning one. That one still has its lightning pack. And there's another one beside me. Of course there is. How did I hit that? Like, midair like that. Stop. Nope. Where? Where? What? 
Did I see a glint hawk like 5,000 miles away? What was I aiming at there? Where are you going? I'm not done murdering you. Oh, dang it. Sorry, just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. Ow, 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 ow. Nice hit. I, I angered every machine in a 5,000 mile radius. Got that one. There, where are they all coming from? The shelter sucks. Got him. This is the worst shelter of my life, chat. This place is awful. Just ticked off everything and its mother. Nah, you're all dying. Oh dear. I'm not letting any of you live. You shouldn't have messed with me. Shut it at. Uh oh. All right, we're good. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like dodged right into it. No, my critical hit. Heal. Crit. Nailed it. Ow, my feelings. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Not as fine as I'd like to be. Nice block breaker. All right, what's the other one? One, two, three, and then R2 for the fourth. Two, three. Yeah, the Nora brave hit. Let's go. Oh. I just want to reiterate for uh, anyone who didn't realize, the shelter blows. This is the most infested shelter I've ever seen before in my life. Shelter normally means like, oh, it's safe. Don't worry, you're okay. I think he keeps giving me the skill point health up thing over and over again because I keep looting before it can go through. Wants to make sure I, uh, wants to make sure that I can see it. Do I want to get up to three skill points to level that up more? I could. We could get this Valor skill for crits and stuff. Oh, I understand now. Earlier, I don't know if it was earlier in stream, if it was last stream, but earlier I said, like, what the heck is the difference between crit damage and crit strike damage? Critical hit damage is just when you get a critical hit by shooting a bow. Critical strike is when the enemy is down and you press R1 on them. Okay, so normal critical hit damage is like a small boost, but critical strikes do almost double damage, which is pretty pog with that. Energized uh, boost duration sounds pretty useful. Give me that. And then honestly, I think right now, I think right now, this is a more useful Valor ability. So let's use this Valor ability for now instead of the Super Stealth one. I think the Super Stealth one will be more useful when we like, if there's any equivalent to bandit camps, or like if we go into a big ruin with a bunch of like human enemies or like some small machines to avoid. But for now, I think that this one will be more usable in like immediate combat. All right, well, this uh, death shelter meant to lure people into false senses of security is now safe after all of my hard work. That was terrifying. Dude, literally, we just had to fight like four burrers and like six scroungers. That was insane. All right, I don't care about any of that. Oh, but is it gonna like keep saying a thing until I do? Haven't used the trip caster at all yet, but we could upgrade it. That's uh, super cheap to upgrade. Let's yeah, we'll upgrade it at least once. Get those stats up. This is also pretty cheap. I'll, I'll level it up to level two. We'll hold off on level three for now. Yeah, I've only got one spark coil. Uh, haven't been using the blast sling very much. But also, as soon as we run into a bigger machine, I think I'll use it a lot. Like, it's not really super useful against small machines, I feel like. But if we, like, run into, like, you know, like, Ravagers. Like, Ravager uh, tier machines. I'll be using it a good bit. And then this is our main bow for now. So I see no reason not to, like, max this out. If we're able to. Oh, now we can put a coil on it. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. Weapon upgrades, like, one. I guess it just says one because I'm able to, but I don't want to bother. So I'm going to, like, ignore it. Pouch upgrades. Yes. That's trip, rot, trip wires. Jay, wishbone, we got to kill a blue jay? 
Only one Valor allowed? You can only have one Valor equipped at a time. So you have to equip the one that you want in the moment. But I mean, you can like open up the thing and switch around like whenever you want, I think. Maybe it was the machine's shelter. I didn't consider that. All right, we need two more squirrel hide. One more boar hide for resource pouch. That's going to be really useful. Squirrel bone, boar bone, raccoon. Okay, so we, we still need to just kill a bunch of everything. Duly noted. Duly noted. I uh, don't need to make any potions. Outfit upgrades. Fanghorn antler. I haven't run into like any of those. I want new outfits so bad. Can we get the the blaze on heavy armor again? That was like the best armor from the first game, looks wise. Uh, that should do it for the workbench, I think. Should be good. That's so cool that you can change the time of day, by the way. Coil slot has been unlocked for one of your weapons. Coils, yada, yada, yada. And then modified coils in the inventory. Hello there. Let me give you a coil. Increases acid and build up. Increases tear damage to armor, resource components, and weak spots. Seems like the acid would be a better... A better boost. So we'll go with that. And it looks like I can immediately, like, uh... Take off coils and stuff. Like, I can just unequip it to... Yeah, okay, that used to... To unequip coils and stuff in the previous game, you had to have a skill for it. In this game, they just let you do it from the get-go. That's nice. There's another unknown up here. I mean, we could go see what's happening while we're right here. If it doesn't super confuse me like the last one did, I didn't really understand what was going on. Did my Valor setup reset? Oh no, it's like it's still fully charged even though I just switched to it. That's really nice. Alright, so if we get into another big fight like that, we can uh, Valor up. Oh, that thing right there is the question mark. Oh, isn't that the thing we came down from on the crank? Oh, no, wait, no, that's way over there. That's way further away. Never mind. There's an old watchtower at the top of that. Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Classic Aloy cutting herself off. Dude, being able to grab onto just, like, random rocks and stuff is so nice. It's so nice of the game to have it be where, like, Aloy can just climb on stuff without it being, like, obvious. Like these rocks, but then if you use the focus, they make it clear to see with all these little markers for you. I love that. That's so cool. Whoop. This is the right way. We're good. Keep on making my way up. Don't mind me. The focus is such a cool gameplay mechanic. Oh, that was a grapple point. I didn't even notice. Up we go. Wait, I should take whatever that is. That's a bitter leaf. Isn't that what I need? Yeah, I need one more of those. Okay, cool. I think there's one right back next to the camp, so we should be good on that. When we uh, are at, uh, I was going to say free heap. It's not free heap. The other place. Whatever the other place is called. How on earth did you go straight up right there? That's insane. Chain scrape. That's what go. it's called. Hello. Oh, that was another grapple point right there. I wonder if there's a button to, like... Like, you could do the focus pulse to get stuff to show up with the focus real quick. I wonder if there's a button to make, like, all the lines go away. If you're like, okay, I saw what I need to see. I want it off now. Or if it's just, like, a matter of, like, it goes off after a bit. A bronze ingot! That's not a Minecraft material. That's not iron at all. Hello. Hey, there's that last bit of relief I, I was I looking everything for. I need for Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. You and me both, sister. That's not true. I ate, like, an hour and a half before stream. I'll be good until dinner. What am I doing up here, I wonder? That was weird. Again, this is a really cool little exploration thing. Not super big, but super neat to get to. I like it. Some kind of device. A metal reflects the sun. To send a signal? Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna, like, take something off of it? You're good, Aloy. Signal lens. Lens of dawn. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. This is another collectible. A dome-shaped piece of glass that refracts light. It recovered from a Karja signal tower at the north northeast end of the dawn. Interesting. I'll check out this sick repel animation. 
beautiful, just like it was in the first game. This did- Okay, I was about to say, is there another repel point? This did not get me all the way down. Whoop. This is far enough down. Alright, well that was a neat little collectible we got there that I'm sure will come in handy at some point. Good stuff, good stuff. Did I ever proc this campfire? No, I didn't. Let's go proc this campfire, and then we can use the free fast travel. I think I need to go underwater right here to get to whatever this unknown is, actually. We could do that. I really want to go back and, like, turn in these side quests and main quests and whatnot, and then do, uh... Do, uh, machine strike? Yeah, machine strike is what it's called. We should get this campfire while we're close to it, though. Don't mind me, just passing through. What's this red plant right here? Is that something I can pick up? Nope. It's just there to look nice. All these dang rocks! Big Zaddy, Sam, anyone else who's showing up in stream? Hello, glad to have you. How you doing? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Stop that. Bad burr. Bad. Oh my word, it's jump is so complex. Well, it's dead now. Hey there, buddy. Don't talk about my bad shots, chat. Bam! Nailed it. Later, sucker. Alright, thanks for the stuff. Ooh, I am low on meds. I haven't really seen a lot of meds around lately, and we had to use a lot when we got ambushed by, like, every machine in this corner of the map. All right, less rocks, more healy fruit. And I don't mean fruit that heals me. I mean fruit that I can turn into healies. So that I can just, uh, Aloy can go around in style. That's what this game really needs. Healies. The next evolution in gaming. What the heck is this place? Looks like a little work site. Might be some in your uh, stash. Oh yeah, there could be, yeah. Alright, let's see about going to this unknown again. Yeah, I think I- Yeah, I definitely need to go under the water. Okay. The game hadn't taught me how to swim yet. Let's see what we can figure out here. It gets a little confusing when you're up above. It's like trying to take you up. Oh my word, this game is has no right being this pretty. It really doesn't. Sunken Cavern Daunt East. Interesting. Hold it. Oh, you can hold X to go to the surface. That's really useful. Oh, I yeah, there's a water pocket. We're good. We're good. I said a water pocket. I'm in an oxygen pocket. Okay, Sunken Cat. There's a word. Sunken Caverns. I think it said Sunkern, the Pokemon. <laughs> this is so cool. I won't know for certain until we get, like, some underwater combat, like we fight some machines underwater. But so far, underwater controls, pretty good. Especially now that I know I can hold X to have Aloy immediately ascend. That's a, a huge help. So is that, like, is that green rock something I can pick up? Oh, it is. 